Magnets are pretty amazing. A small magnet is able to lift a paperclip against the gravity of the entire Earth. But not all materials are affected by magnetism. So how do they even work? Materials that can be affected by magnets are called ferromagnetic. To see how they work, let's take a closer look at a regular iron rod. We'll call it Rodney. It's time to get microscopic. No, not small enough? OK, let's go atomic. All atoms contain an orbit of tiny charged particles called electrons. In addition to their charge and mass, they also have a property called spin. When we compare Rodney's atoms with those of a non-ferromagnetic material, we can see a difference. In most materials, the electron orbit impairs, one spinning up and the other down. These cancel each other out to equal no spin at all. But in Rodney's atoms, the electrons are independent, making the spin unbalanced. This minuscule amount of spin is enough to create a magnetic effect called a moment. Moments are produced across Rodney's atoms, and they line up in their north-south directions. Large areas of atoms form magnetic domains, which are separated by Rodney's crystalline structure. Each domain has its own magnetic field. They are not aligned and cancel each other out. To make Rodney truly magnetic, the domains need to line up. We can do this in three ways. Expose him to an external magnetic field, run an electrical current through him, or hit him with a hammer, repeatedly. Now we have a magnet. So why aren't materials like bananas attracted to magnets? When we place a magnet next to a ferromagnetic material, it's the unbalanced spin of the electrons inside that react. So materials with paired electrons are unaffected. Rodney here makes a pretty good magnet, as do most ferromagnetic materials. But he's far from the strongest. So, why is that? The strength of a magnet is largely dictated by the structure of the material. The more effort required to align the domains, the stronger the resulting magnet. There's still a lot to learn about magnetism, and looking closer at the nature of magnetic fields produces more questions than answers. Understanding the strange nature of magnetic materials allows us to harness the mysterious force for more than just fridge magnets, and who knows what future discoveries could allow. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for our future videos.